Hey guys, how are we doing today? Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about free hosting. Free web hosting, is it a good or a bad idea? Um, likely if you're watching this video, you're probably, you know, about to start a business or you probably started a business and you want an online presence with your own personal website and you're thinking about considering getting free web hosting. But as you can see right now, if you look on Google and you type in that very term free uh, hosting or free web hosting, you get tons of listings out there, tons of listings of companies that offer that very service. As you can see, one popular website, freehosting.com. There's another one, awardspace.com, as well as some others that are out there that do offer the service. So is it really a good idea or not to start off using free hosting? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, I've done some research and I mean, there are well over 500, if not thousands of web hosting providers out there. We're not going to talk about all of them today. What we are going to hone in on is free hosting. Um, what I'm going to talk about first are the advantages of free hosting. Obviously, if you're considering it, you're probably thinking about the free side of it. And then later, I'm going to talk about the disadvantages of getting, you know, free hosting. One of the things that, you know, obviously stands out, you know, with free hosting is that it is free. It doesn't cost you anything on the front or back end. And most people may be tempted to get started, you know, with a free host, to, you know, to host their domain or, or to get, you know, a website started because there's no out of pocket, you know, cost. You may be on a, a really tight budget. You may not have any money or you may think it's too expensive you know, to host your own website um, with a paid service. And so you're thinking about using free hosting. Yes, it is free. And that's really the only benefit <laughs> that I could think about that you really get with it. Um, something else that you do get with free um, web hosting is you will get a domain. Typically, it's not a personalized domain. Uh, what I mean by that, if you get started with, you know, uh, providers like blogger.com, uh, like Blogspot, basically once you get started with, and this is just one example of many, but if you get started with blogger.com uh, with the service that Google provides, basically you'll have a, you know, your domain name or the name you want to call your site dot blogspot.com. For example, let's say you're into, I don't know, you offer web hosting services or you offer you know, vitamin supplements, just throwing some ideas out there. And let's say you wanted to choose, you know, like a name, like, I don't know, vitamin supplements.com. Well, you wouldn't have a dot com. You would have like a vitamin supplements dot blogspot dot com. It would be an extremely long uh, domain name that you would be using. And it's, it's really hard for people to remember such a long name. That's one of the disadvantages. Yes, you do get a, a domain you know, from them or subdomain rather on the Blogspot uh, platform, but you don't get anything that's personalized. The same is true with uh, like WordPress. WordPress has a paid version and do also have a free version. If you go to the free hosting side of it, again, it's a long extended name, you know, whatever that you choose it, whatever name that you choose or select dot WordPress.com. So that's one of the Positive things is one, you do get a free domain. It's not personalized. The disadvantage is that it's extremely long. One of the other disadvantages I wanted to talk about with uh, free hosting that you definitely should consider is that um, there are frequent downtime, downtimes. And if you don't know what downtime is, basically downtime is the time that your website is not visible online. So if you went to, you know, for example, my website, learningnet.com, uh, if for some reason you came to my website, and by the way, I don't use free hosting, but it's just an example for this particular, um, you know, video itself. If you were to Google, for example, like learningnet.com, you went to my website, learningnet.com, great, it pops up, you know, it's not down or anything like that. Typically with free hosting, there are different maintenance, you know, times that they, you know, they're maintaining it or whatever they're doing. Or sometimes it's just the website is just down. It could be for hours at a time. The downside for you is that, you know, obviously if you have a website and your customers are searching for you online and they go to Google you or to go to your, you know, your web page that you have 
uh, and it's on a free hosting, you know, platform, you know, what type of impression would you, would you, would you leave for your, you know, potential customer? If they're searching for you online, they're searching for whatever the product is that you, you know, offer and they happen to find you in Google results, you know, it says, you know, this, this site is currently down or it's offline. That's one of the problems that you'll have um, with free hosting is that you can never truly know like when your site is up and down. There's a, a lot of frequent downtime, if that makes sense to you. One of the other downsides to using uh, free hosting is that you'll notice that ads will be embedded on your website. So the provider that's you know giving you this service to offset the cost of giving it to you for free they will, you know, place ads on your website. They may be on the right side. They may be on the very top in the header, even on the very bottom in the footer section of your website. And so with that, the downside to that is that when people make it to your website, uh, they're distracted because now they're not on just, you know, learning at.com or whatever your website is, but they'll see ads perhaps up here on the side, you know, you don't have full control over, you know, your website. And so, you know, when people see ads that you can notice on my website, I don't have any Google ads or anything like that. I do have some banners on the side that I myself have embedded here, but, you know, I have full control over those. I can insert them, remove them, whatever, you know, but, you know, of course this website is about reviews and things like that, that people want to know about, but you would hate for somebody to have arrived on your website and there's like a banner up here that's, you know, from that particular free posting platform and there's a banner or there's an ad and somebody clicks on it and it takes them to another site, a site that has absolutely nothing to do with your products. And that's typically what happens is that, you know, these ads are just on your website. You don't have any control over them because, again, you're basically renting space on their platform, be it, you know, blogger dot com or blogspot or wordpress a free version of it or any of these free hosting companies that are out there that you may find you know online wix included there's um you know others like weebly weebly is a great company but i mean they do have a free you know version as well and so that subdomain that they give you again those ads you know are up there and so that's one of the downers of having um you know free hosting itself one advertisements that are on your website that you can't control that will steer people away from your site Two frequent downtimes that, you know, you can't control your website could be online. It could be offline today, online, you know, tomorrow it's just up and down. You lose money. You lose, you could potentially use hundred, lose hundreds up to thousands of dollars according to certain studies online um, by using, you know, free hosting. Um, one of the, another disadvantage to using free hosting is that um, there's no security with it. Very uh, low security. You know, your site is not backed up. It's not protected. And, you know, you, you'll you be actually exposed to more dangers to your website. Maybe hackers trying to get into your website, take over your website, embed malware and things of that nature. You know, those are all of the dangers that come with using free hosting. And so obviously I'm doing this video on the fly just to tell you about, it's just something I thought about that, you know, obviously my website talks about, you know, web hosting, different, you know, products and services that are out there, but mainly my main focus is on, you know, web hosting itself. And so I thought about this particular thing because somebody, you know, asked me about it, you know, what about free hosting? Do I recommend it? I absolutely do not. You know, free hosting is one of those things where you get started, you know, if you know absolutely nothing about, you know, web design or, you know, building a website. I mean, it's super easy to get started, you know, with blogger.com or wordpress.com. Great. You don't need to know any, you know, coding or anything like that, but it doesn't require much at all. You know, when you go with a paid service, it's very inexpensive to do it. Uh, there are a lot of benefits to having a paid service. You get customer service 24 seven, you get 100% security, your site's protected. You actually control it because it'll be hosted on your own servers or servers that you're, you know, that you're, that you're renting, you know, from a hosting, you know, provider. 
And so you have more control. You can upload as many images as you want. You get more disk space. There are so many advantages that you get when you sign with a, a paid um, hosting provider. If you want to know what personal um, you know, hosting providers that I prefer to use, just get over to my website or better yet, just click on the link that's right below this uh, video and you can find out today what I recommend you to get started with. All of the providers that I recommend offer money back guarantees. They offer 100 um, percent great customer service, uh, great you know, dependability as far as servers. You never have to worry about downtime. And that's the main thing that you want to consider. You know, you don't want to you save money by going with a free host because it'll cost you more in, in the long run. All right, guys. So I hope that I cleared up that. If you were thinking about using, you know, free web hosting, you know, today, don't do it. Don't don't waste your time, you know, going with that. You may think that you're saving money on the front end, but it's going to be very costly for you and your business in the long run. Tell me, tell me, guys, what you think about this uh, video. Drop your comments at the very uh, bottom. Just wanted to give you a few, you know, thoughts, some things to think about in this video. As you can see, I just went straight to Google and Google free hosting. And you can see a lot of, you know, results here. I'm not going through all these links here, but again, I mean, there are tons upon tons of, you know, web hosting companies out there. Check the link below this uh, video to see which ones that I recommend that you can get started with today. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next. Drop your comment, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you on the next video.